this week we're going to be going over all of the achievements for the original four missions in the VR game, I Expect You to Die. And then next week we're going to be finishing it up with the last three missions that were all added in DLC. So we're doing a quick little intermission between the Mass Effect videos, so we're going to do this VR game and then go back over to the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This game is kind of like an escape the room type thing, but with the twist of you're a spy and you have certain objectives that you need to complete. I would highly recommend that you go through the game on your own, no help at all, and then once you complete all the missions, then you go back and get all the achievements. And so now, let's get into it. For the most part, the achievements in the game are going to be for completing each mission and then for doing all of the hidden objectives and speedrun each mission. So I'll be going through each mission, showing you the side objectives, how to speedrun it, and starting out, you'll get guns, fire, and fake plants. Welcome to the life of a spy, for finishing spy training. You'll just have to go through the intro section, and once done with that, the achievement will pop. Now moving on, we have the first real mission, Friendly Skies. There will be two achievements here, Live and Let Fly for completing Operation Friendly Skies and Driven to Collect for earning all of the souvenirs from Operation Friendly Skies. There are five hidden objectives for each map that will unlock a souvenir for each one and then speedrunning the level will get you the sixth and final souvenir. The first is Smoking Break for placing a cigar in your mouth and lighting it up with the lighter. The second is Drunk Driving for pouring champagne into one of the glasses. The third is Make It Rain for loading money into the car's cannon and firing it. The fourth is Bomb Parts for defusing the bomb with the knife. And the fifth is Guns Away for tossing the revolver out of the plane. And then for the speedrun, you'll need to get it done in under 35 seconds. This one is going to take a few tries, but starting out, you'll use your right hand to grab the key, put it in the ignition, and turn the car on, all while using your left hand to open the window, grab a screwdriver, and close the window back up. Then while waiting for the eye scan to take place, you're going to unscrew the radio, grab the knife from the glove box, and pop out the cannon from the dash. Then once that bomb pops out underneath, you can go ahead and cut the wires in the order of yellow, blue, then green, grab a stick of dynamite, put it in the cannon, and launch it while putting the car in drive and immediately hitting the gas pedal. Then we can move on to the second mission, Squeaky Clean. Here, we'll get the achievements We're Not Going Viral Today for completing Operation Squeaky Clean and High Rise Hijinks for earning all souvenirs from Operation Squeaky Clean. The first is Dr. Freeze for putting a mixture of chemicals in the freezer to your right. You can either make a mixture or just take one of the already made canisters from the left and put it in there. The second is Laser Mister for using the spray bottle to show the laser grid in the room. The third is Undercover for cleaning the window off with the sponge. The fourth is Plain to See for grabbing the clipboard over near the Bunsen burner to the right and interacting with it to make a paper airplane. This one didn't activate at first for me, so just do it a few times if it doesn't activate for you, and throw the planes around until you hear the audio cue indicating that it counted. The fifth is Your Toast for turning on the Bunsen burner and lighting your sandwich on fire. And then we finally have the speedrun, which has to be under two minutes. Starting out, you'll immediately break the glass with your gun and flip the switch for the green chemical. I would also clean your area off of everything other than the sponge while you're waiting for the center pillar to come up and grab the glass to cut the wires. Once it pulls up, quickly open the hatch to cut them and throw the glass away. As soon as the chemicals come back up, you'll need to start mixing the copper dissolving acid by mixing blue, red, and green chemicals. Then hit the lever to refill it, 
and drop the green chemical in and hit the mixer button. While it's mixing that one, start loading up the antidote, which is going to be purple, red, and yellow chemicals. You'll be able to go ahead and load the red and the purple into the mixer and then drop the acid mixture on the chain while cleaning the extra chemicals off of the stand. As soon as the chain is melted off, you'll flip the switch on for the yellow chemical and refill your chemicals. At this point, you'll get a warning about someone coming, so you'll need to pick up the sponge with one hand and finish making the antidote with your other hand. You'll load the yellow chemical in the mixer, let it mix, and then put it in the tube across the room and hit the button. All still while pretending to clean that broken window until you get word the coast is clear. Once you hit the button, it's going to start a long process of the bomb being slowly brought outside, so while that's going on, you're going to want to bring the antidote out to the ledge with you for easy access and create another copper melting mixture using green, red, and blue chemicals. Once you have that one mixed and the bomb comes out, you can pull the top off of it and drop the copper melting mixture on top of it to get rid of the chains inside. Then keep pulling panels off of the bomb at the same time while you grab the antidote with your other hand. You'll clear out enough of the panels to grab the lid off of the bomb and then drop the antidote inside. This one is pretty long and has a lot of parts, so it may take a little while to get done quick enough. Be no outbreak today. Let's get you out of there. Then moving on to the third mission, Deep Dive, we have another two achievements. For sale, one escape pod gently used is for completing Operation Deep Dive and Undersea Overachiever is for earning all souvenirs from Operation Deep Dive. The first is Strong Stomach for consuming the moldy sandwich. The second is Twist Pin for shoving one of the screws from the right side of the pod into a grenade's pinhole to prevent it from detonating. The third is Fire Away for tossing the fire extinguisher out of the pod at the end. The fourth is Emergency for breaking the glass of the fire extinguisher by firing a flare gun at it. And the fifth is No Leaks for sealing all of the cracks with a cock gun before they start leaking. Then of course you'll have to speedrun the level in under two minutes. So first, you'll grab the wheel to shut off the water with your right hand and turn the fuel pipe with your left. Then take the lid off the fuel and start the flow of that. Grab the little handle from the lunchbox and stick it onto the oxygen reserve area behind you. Quickly open up the top yellow bin, grab the screwdriver to unscrew the water pump, and grab the cock gun with one hand while you put the water pump lever on the water pump with your other. Then use the cock gun to bust the glass on the fire extinguisher and set it to float in front of you, and do the same with the fire extinguisher after pulling the pin. You'll then open up that panel to your left to stick the pin in the grenade and drop that. At this point, there will be a leak starting that you're going to need to seal with the caulk gun while continuing through. You may also need to use the pump to get a little bit of the water out if it's not already in the green. But if it is in the green, you can go ahead and start the generator up to start the ascension. And you can also turn the oxygen reserve on to preemptively have that done. And once the fire starts on the controls, go ahead and get rid of it with the extinguisher. Then a few seconds later, it's going to get to the point where the engine starts to overheat, so you'll turn the water back on and get ready to put in the code on the center console. This is the hardest part of this one, as it can be kind of finicky trying to get the dial to go to the number that you want, and you'll need to switch the band down for even numbers and up for odd numbers. The code you'll put in here is 72538. Then as soon as you surface, open up the top and shoot off the flare to end the mission. We hope your escape pod experience was Ah, oh, there you are, Agent. We thought we'd lost you to the wilds of the Caribbean. We're approaching your position now. Have a nice day. And then we'll move on to the last base game mission, Winter Break. Here you'll get the achievements Dislodged for completing Operation Winter Break and Cold Comfort for earning all souvenirs from Operation Winter Break. The first is Burning Crystal for lighting the purple crystal on fire. The second one is Dapper Bear for placing the hat on the stuffed bear. And then that one immediately leads into the next one for Styling Agent for placing the hat on your head. The fourth is Flying Saucer for throwing the golden ashtray up out of the roof when the helicopter comes. 
And the fifth is Molotov for putting the whiskey bottle into the fireplace. Then of course we have this speedrun, which once again has to be done in under two minutes. So starting out, you'll immediately turn to the right and pull the candle down to bring out the safe. Put in the code 386 to open the safe and grab the cartridge which you'll put into the slot in your desk. Then you'll immediately pull the right antler on the mounted deer head down to open another hidden compartment. This is going to start two different traps, but you can get rid of both of them by grabbing a log that's on fire, holding it in front of the deer gas, and then holding it up to the rope of the chandelier above the bear to snap that and take down the bear archer. Then grab the orb from the secret compartment to the right of the deer and put it on the hand that comes up from the desk. At this point, you'll look over to the right to pull the purple book and grab three of the purple crystals and make them float in front of you. Once the machine is up and you can actually pull the lever, you'll do that and swap the crystal out with a purple crystal. For the first one, you'll only have one dial to change to align it before you can pull the lever again. It'll then partially break and bring lasers that start spinning, which you'll need to duck under while quickly getting the machine ready for the second purple crystal. This time it'll have two different dials, but it's still not too hard to line up. So keep ducking and get the third crystal ready. This is going to be the one that takes a little bit of time as it can be tricky to get all three dials lined up properly. But as soon as you do and pull the lever, the machine will break and you'll almost be done. Crystal unstable. Now you just wait for the helicopter to drop in and you can grab the rope to pull yourself out. Nicely done. There's nothing like an explosive finish to foil a villain's plans once and for all. And with that, we have almost all of the achievements in I Expect You to Die. We covered all of the missions in the base game this week, and next week we'll be going over the missions added in the free DLC, which will also get you the last two achievements, so stay tuned for that. And then we'll finally be ready to go ahead and finish out Mass Effect 2, and move on to Mass Effect 3 on the Legendary Edition. We also have the community discord open which you should all join and come chat about achievement hunting or just hang out with some people in the community. And of course we have YouTube memberships now so if you want to support the channel further, get access to custom emotes to use in the comments, and have your name featured in a credit section at the end of the videos, go ahead and join that now. And as always if you liked the video or found it helpful be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below with what games you'd like me to cover next.